Yo, what is good people and welcome back to another episode on my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about some interesting stuff because as you read in the title of today's video, I want to talk about the past map we have had, actually a past game we have had. Do you guys remember Black Ops 2 and the Zombies map Origins? Well, that map makes so much sense now, it's unbelievable. I remember back in the days where everyone was hunting for the Origins easter egg, it took so long time, but finally one day it got solved and the easter egg ending cutscene was watched for the first time. The thoughts people had after watching the ending cutscene were mostly something like so it was all a game after all by played by some kids? Um, was the storyline not real? What is happening? And in today's video I will be explaining what went down in the origins ending because after we got the intro cutscene for revelations everything that happened in the origins ending cutscene just makes so much more sense now. Okay, so first of all, we see two kids which seem to be Sam and Eddie, aka Edward Richthofen as Kid and Samantha Maxis, playing with other characters as toys and killing zombies. We see them play for a little bit until we hear a very loud siren go off and Maxis telling them to come downstairs. Now, I remember back in the days, we did not know what that siren meant, but now we finally know. I'm trying to explain this as best as I can, so pretty much what the siren indicates is when someone enters the house through a portal. And now you may wonder, who could have entered the house? Well, this was Edward Richthofen from the Origins crew. How, you may ask? Let's start from the beginning. When we complete the Origins easter egg, we let Maxis back through the portal that would lead to the house. At the house, the siren would obviously go off again and at the house, we believe that Maxis met up with Dr. Monte, which gave him a physical form but a younger body. And after Maxis has come to the house, Richthofen follows him to the house and that is when the siren goes off in the origins cutscene. After Richthofen came to the house, Maxis gave him a quest to go look for the Cronorium. Richthofen then heads out to look for it, but he needed help, so he went to get the transit crew, that's right, the transit crew, to help him out. Once he gathered information from the Cronorium, he went back to the house, where Maxis tell him to go and get the summoning key. He then went to Shadows of Evil and stole the summoning key out of the hands from a keeper which we have seen in the ending cutscene of Shadows of Evil. And then Richthofen returns once again back to the house to meet up with Maxis. When Maxis tells him to go look for the other characters, that's when Richthofen uses the teleporter in the house to go to the giant teleporter. He had been gone for two years when he meet up with the others. So then he steps out of the teleporter to kill himself, but one thing to remember, he did not pick up his own soul. Because as we know by Monty's quote, when we finished the Grod Krovi easter egg, Richthofen has been in the house for ages. And after Richthofen kills himself, here is where our current story continues. So if you guys have enjoyed this theory, if you have, remember to subscribe, like my videos, and share with friends. Until then, I'll see you all in time. Bye bye, and peace out.